Welcome to a lesson on the handshake lemma. The handshake lemma states in any graph, the sum of the degrees of the vertices in the graph is always twice the number of edges. The handshake lemma is sometimes called the degree sum formula and can be written symbolically as the sum of all the degrees of the vertices is equal to two times E. Here we use D of V for the degree of the vertex V and E as the number of edges. We can also solve this equation for E by dividing both sides by two and state E, the number of edges, is equal to the sum of all of the degrees of the vertices divided by two. One use of the lemma is to actually find the number of edges in a graph. To do this, we must be given the degree sequence for the graph or be able to find it from other information. The degree sequence is a list of every degree of every vertex in the graph, generally written in a non-increasing order. Looking at an example, let's determine how many vertices and edges a graph must have if its degree sequence is given as four, four, three, 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 two, one. First, to find the number of vertices, we count the number of degrees given in the degree sequence. Notice there are seven degrees in the degree sequence, indicating there are seven vertices. And now to determine the number of edges, we compute the degree sum, which we can see is equal to 20, and then we set this equal to 2e and solve for e. This gives us the equation two equals 20, dividing both sides by two, we have e equals 10. We now know the graph must have seven vertices and 10 edges. The Hanjik lemma also tells us what is not possible. As an example, at a recent math seminar, nine mathematicians greeted each other by shaking hands. Is it possible that each mathematician shook hands with exactly seven people at the seminar? It seems like this should be possible. Each mathematician chooses one person to not shake hands with, but this cannot happen. We are asking whether a graph with nine vertices can have each vertex with degree seven. If such a graph existed, then the sum of the degrees of the vertices would have to be nine times seven, which is equal to 63. This would need to be twice the number of edges, or in this application, the number of handshakes, resulting in a graph with 63 divided by two, or 31.5 edges. But we know the number of edges has to be a whole number, and therefore that is impossible. Thus at least one, in fact an odd number, of the mathematicians must have shaken hands with an even number of people at the seminar. And this is because, as we know from the first example, the sum of the degree sequence must be even in order for the number of edges to be a whole number. We generalize the previous example to get the following proposition. A proposition is a general statement in mathematics similar to a theorem, although generally of lesser importance. The proposition is, in any graph, the number of vertices with an odd degree must be even. This assures the sum of the degrees is even, and therefore the number of edges is a whole number. And we'll end with a quick proof of this proposition. Suppose there were a graph with an odd number of vertices with odd degree then the sum of the degrees in the graph would be odd, which is impossible by the handshake lemma. I hope you found this helpful.